Hello everyone. We will continue the topic enhancements and modifications. And in this video, we will start with user exit. So far, whatever the topics we covered, all those were enhancements. Means we covered implicit, explicit enhancements. We covered customer exit. We covered body. All those were enhancements. We enhanced the SAP functionality in customer namespace. Means whatever the namespace we used to enhance, that starts with Z or Y. But user exit is a modification. Yes, we will enhance the SAP functionality but we will enhance in which namespace SAP namespace. So in case of user exit, we will enhance the SAP functionality, but we will enhance in SAP namespace itself means name will not start with Z or Y. Now user exits are only only available in SAP SD module, they belongs to SAP sales and distribution module. There is no other module of SAP in which we have the concept of user exit. They restricted to only SAP SD module. Suppose simple example, someone is giving you the task that find a user exit in MM01 transaction code. What is MM01? Its purpose is to create a material. It belongs to SAP MM module. So we can never, never find a user exit in this MM01. Yes, we can find a body. We can find a customer exit. But the user exit is never, never possible in this MM01. Suppose someone is giving you the task that go to FB01 and find a user exit. What is FB01? Its purpose is to create an accounting document. It belongs to SAP FI module. So we can never, never find a user exit because user exits are only only restricted to what SAP sales and distribution module. Suppose someone is giving me the task, find a user exit in VA01. What is VA01? Its purpose is to create a sales order. It belongs to SAP SD module. Yes, in this transaction code, I can find a user exit. Suppose someone is giving me the task, find a user exit in VA02. Its purpose is to change a sales order. It belongs to SAP sales and distribution module. Yes, we can find a user exit. So just make sure if someone is giving you the task, you should be very sure at that point of time it belongs to SAP SD module or not. If that transaction code or standard program does not belongs to SAP SD module, so we can never, never find a user exit there. Now, the third point, user exits are always available in the form of subroutines. We all know Every subroutine starts with a perform keyword. It means every user exit starts with a perform keyword. Whenever we will double click onto the name of user exit, it will take me to form and end form where we can write the logic. Suppose for this time being, if I will show you how the user exits are, just see. We have a perform keyword and this is the name of the user exit. Whenever we have something starts with perform, it means all those are subroutines. So every user exit starts with a perform keyword. This is perform keyword and this is the name of the user exit. If I will double click onto this name of the user exit, 
it will take me to form an end form it will take me to form an end form and in between this i can write the logic so every user exit starts with a perform keyword whenever you will double click on to the name of that particular user exit it will take you to form an end form where you can write your logic now the fourth most important point the most most important program for the user exit related to sales order the most important program for the same is mv45 afzz now the question comes why i mentioned in the slide itself we have so many kinds of user exits might be there because this is the most most important program and maximum time 80 to 90% times our requirement fulfilled by the user exits available in this particular program itself most most important program for the user exit belongs to sales order means if i will go to va01 or if i will go to va02 at that time i will find the maximum maximum user exits or i will say most important user exit in this particular program itself once the practical will start you will get more more clarity so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we start with user exit user exit is a modification you will enhance the sap functionality in sap namespace itself means name will not start with z or y this user exits are only only available in sap sales and distribution module there is no other module of sap in which we have the concept of user exit they are always available in the form of subroutines means every user exit starts with a perform keyword whenever we will double click it will take me to form an end form where we can write our logic and the most most important program for the user exit of sales order is mv45 afzz now in the next video we will go for same to same approach which we followed previously we will learn how to find a user exit then we will see how to implement a user exit so that's it in this particular video thank you